G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Draw with Jazza. I'm Jazza and this is the Let's Draw Live series where I take the requests from the Twitch chat and the winning vote this week is Scyther, the Pokemon, but super cool, cutting edge, crazy, sick looking thing. So basically I'm taking this, this is my terrible interpretation and quick sketch of Scyther, the Pokemon, and I'm going to make a version of him that is much more edgy and comic book-esque and cool looking. So I'm going to start off by picking some of the features that I think are pretty important and start to shape out the silhouette of the character that's going to carry through in the more cutting edge design. But then I'm also going to accentuate certain things, make things less bubbly, uh, sharpen certain edges, uh, make things more blocky than bubbly, and also make things a bit more slender rather than uh, thick and sort of chubby or round looking. This gets rid of the cute elements of the character and adds in a lot more gnarly awesomeness. And we're going to add some more realistic features in things like the face uh, and the, in the hands and torso to make it look more uh, edgy. So I've laid down the character's foundation here and it's enough to begin with, but moving forward, we're gonna make it uh, jump out a lot more and give it a lot more to work with. So I'm gonna start off with some line work. I'm gonna start off with a 0.3 fine liner and then move on to a 0.1 for some details, but I won't go and do all the details yet because I will save some till later. Point is, I'm gonna go through the overall silhouettes and shapes of the character, start to elude in some of the detail and then I can erase my construction line work and and begin adding color. In adding the line work, I begin by focusing on the broader areas of the character's anatomy, focusing on the outlines and the silhouettes of things like the torso, the shoulders and the head, the arms, and then slowly adding in some of the interior details. I'm also gonna to start to add areas of division in some of these places to add some height uh, variation to show that there's some textural detail that is more broad than fine textural detail which I will then get to with my 0.1 fine liner and add lots of little dots and textures and lines to allude to uh, the detail in the character. It's interesting because I usually like to say less is more, uh, but when it comes to pieces like this, sometimes adding lots of allusions to textures in various areas that work well can be something quite useful, but also not so much as to bury the piece. Okay, so I've got my line work in. I'm pretty happy with how this has turned out and now I'm ready to go on to color. The Let's Draw video series is sponsored by Copic Australia. So you can check out the Copic markers by clicking the link on the screen and in the description. I highly recommend them. They're alcohol based uh, markers that mix really well and you get cool blending techniques. So I'm gonna use them to create a bit of a textured look over this character. But before we jump into color, I'm going to uh, dip my toes into color as it were. So I just get my greens, yellows and greys all together and just start playing with the colours on a spare piece of blending paper and just start to see which colours have this sort of saturation that I uh, want to work with for this piece. And I don't want something too oversaturated because we're going for something a bit more gritty. So I might actually mix some browns in some places, some more earthy tones as well to bring it back a bit um, and only use more saturated and strong greens in areas to really accentuate. Uh, certain aspects or certain lighting but really in general keep the piece quite muddy. To begin with I'm going to lay down a base tone of YG11 Mignonette and I'm not going to lay it down in every area but only where the lighting is going to touch which I'm going to keep to the top of the character so that I have some darker shading at the bottom and underneath the limbs and areas of his anatomy. After I've laid down my highlights I go to G12 Sea Green to lay down my other lighter areas that aren't quite mid-tones but start the gradient towards the mid-tones which then becomes YG17 Grass Green and I'm going to start to create a little bit of a cell shaded effect and then I can use my G85 and just add some hard solid shadow in certain areas to accentuate both the cell shaded effect and the lighting that we're setting up. After I've done the skin tones, I start to go through the scythes with my neutral greys. Now, to begin with, I go through with N1 and then start to add some mid-tone shading with N3, and then eventually add some dark uh, shadows with N5. But that being said, the neutral greys on their own are a little bit too colorless. So I'm gonna add a slight bit of earthy saturation with my E40 brick white, just to bring it back into a little bit more of a warmer spectrum. 
Next, I'm going to do the wings of the character with the base of my E40 brick white and my E43 dull ivory for the darker areas. And I'm gonna blend those in together. And then I've basically done the general color, but it's a bit flat, so we're gonna make it stand out. And to do so, I'm going to add some Y00 barium yellow to the far right areas to add a very light golden overlay. And then to the very far left areas, I'm gonna add Y08 acid yellow just to the edges to really make it look like there's some rim lighting directly behind this character. So I've got my scyther pretty much done. There are just some final things that I want to do to wrap it up and they are just some very minor details. The first being the eye, you can see I've gone over the edges a little bit there. Uh, so I'm going to clean it up with my white and I'm also going to add a little bit of color to the eye. So I'm adding some red to the eye. Okay, so we've fixed up the eye. I'm happy with that. And while I have my white out, I'm gonna pull it out again and just add some highlights along some of these directions in the, the area facing the left of the character, just along the uh, character's rounded limbs. And this is gonna make them look a little more hard and shiny. All right, so I'm pretty happy with that. I have drawn my scyther. I hope you guys are happy with the result. And as usual, I dedicate the piece to the person in Twitch chat who requested it. So this will be dedicated to Florence. And sign, and we're done. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click the link on the screen and in the description to join future Let's Draw live sessions. Otherwise, until next time, I'll see you later.